Hello gorgeous, welcome back to Exquisite Glow and Happy New Year. I haven't said Happy New Year to all of my makeup interested subscribers. Um, it has been a little bit, maybe like almost two months since I've actually posted and you know, it's tutorial stuff like that. But I'm ready to start posting again and yeah, I just have so much going on. But I don't want to bore you with the details. If you want to know more about that, you can follow me on Twitter because that is where I talk about it and uh, what is it? Snapchat. <laughs> what is it? Anyways, so I thought that today, I, I'm i kind of in a rush but I thought well I might as well just put my camera to film and um, just film my current uh, makeup routine because I have actually been more on the laid back style of makeup right now and have just been doing seriously like the bare minimum 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 um, I actually put all of my stuff in this little makeup bag and brought it upstairs because um, my vanity is downstairs and that's usually where I get ready but I have my lights up here and this white background back here or up here upstairs in my office slash makeup room which now is really more of a craft room <laughs> um, and I'm like okay well let me film myself you know get ready I forgot something forgot my foundation I'll be right back okay I'm back out of breath but I'm back let me just have a little bit of my dinko which is just coffee which I shouldn't be having because it jacks up my anxiety but it's so good catch up here man seriously those stairs are a workout who needs a gym when you got a two-story house right <laughs> just go up and down them stairs anyways um okay so getting started so i've already moisturized i used my philosophy renewed hope in a jar that is what i use and i'm loving it you guys know that due to previous favorite video i'll go ahead and link it down below the one that i mentioned it so you guys have all the details of what i was liking during that time anyways uh for my foundation today i'm actually not going to start off with any primer because i find that this estate lauder double wear foundation does really well on its own i do have oily to combination type of skin oily meaning in my t-zone mostly um mostly my forehead my nose issues and a little bit right here like on the sides um my chin doesn't get too oily but it can uh but anyways this one does just fine on its own and it's not too bad so i just blot like i've just been blotting like i'm like i ain't gonna put no primer on my nose right now because i ain't nobody got time for that or i don't got time for that um so i'll just dot my foundation all over my face and um, I concentrate it mostly in the areas where I have redness and on the forehead and whoop, whoop, just put the extras there okay and then for my brush right now I've been away from my beauty blender for a bit because I've just been loving this brush and this is the uh, Sigma flat top kabuki brush and this is the F80 and what I've been doing is I've just been kind of like swiping my makeup from my cheek area just down. So it kind of just puts as least product as possible towards my jawline because I don't really need that much foundation in that area. So you can see it just covered up the redness and it kind of just evened out my skin tone. So that is just how I've been doing this. And then here I'll just kind of like try to fade it out by just rubbing it down my jawline. So pretty. All right, and then the other side, see where I have my redness and it totally covers it up. I love this foundation, like it's my favorite. Alright, so my foundation is on. Um, 
I usually only do that. I don't do a second coat just because I'm not too worried on my everyday foundation routine. Usually this wouldn't be a foundation I use on a daily basis, but because I do really like the coverage that it provides with just one layer, I've been, you know, using it. Um, and yeah, so this is all I'll do as a foundation wise. I haven't been doing concealer because honestly, like my under eye area, I personally don't feel like they're too purple for me to go in and conceal. If I was going to a pate and I really wanted to go look like super flawless, then yeah, but just for my everyday, not doing that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some, um, definition to my face. As you can see with the light hitting me, I look very like one layered. But I'm going to add some definition using a angled brush. This is just a generic one. I don't remember what brand this is. And my Bahama Mama from The Bomb Cosmetics. I really like this bronzer. Um, and I just use it to contour. Just adding a little bit right there. And I like to just blend it up towards my temple this way. Kind of like that. So that just gave it a little bit more of definition and it's just enough for me. Like I'm not like trying to harshly contour or anything. Just 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 add a little little shadow up in there. All right. Then after that, what I'll do, I'll put on some blush. My blush I'm using right now, one of my favorites as well is um from Elf Cos Elf Cosmetics and this is Melamov. I love the color, especially right now, like in winter. It's beautiful. And just put it a little tiny bit on the apples of my cheeks and just kind of blend it in to the bronzer. The Balm has a blush called Pinstripe or Pinstrip, I like that. And it's beautiful too. And it's super pigmented. But I've just been, I love the iridescence that this e.l.f. one gives my cheeks. I don't know, like it has kind of like a purplish, bluish hue to it that I just love. All right, and that's it for that. Then for my highlight, I'm just using uh, the Balm Cosmetics Mary Luminizer. This is what it looks like. Grab it with my Real Techniques brush. And usually I use the mirror to make sure. And I just place it right here. Grab a little bit over here. Put it there. See how that, whatever. Just see it up like a C. Then to blend it out, I'll take this angled brush and just kind of blend it a little bit more with my bronzer and blush. And that's all I do for highlight, okay? And then what I'll do at this point before I put on any eye makeup, usually I'll just put on some eye drops. Like that. And the eye drops that I like are these. These are the Roto eye drops. I have both the green, which I love, and I have the red for redness, but I really like the green. And maybe I should have put those eye drops before so it wouldn't F up my makeup, but we'll work with it. All right, so we have the eye drops. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Desio contact lenses. I, um, I really like my Desio contact lenses. They're like my favorite accessory, especially when I'm not going to wear actual eyeshadow on my eyes. I feel like this is the cosmetic, obviously, for my eyes. And it's what brings in some more color to my face. And yeah, I just love how they look. So I'm gonna put these on really quick. And I put them on the side because I'm a big wuss to just put them straight up on my eyeball on like the color part of my eyebrow. I look to the side and there they are. My eyes water like so much with like when I put it on my contacts, but that don't stop me. I really like it. <laughs> Alright, so one eyeball is done. Next. Then the next one. Mm 
<laughs> Obviously, I am no pro. <laughs> Although I have mastered taking them off. <laughs> I'm not afraid to go in there and pinch it off, but I still have issues with putting them on. All right, anyways, okay, so while that dries up around the eye area, what I'm going to do is I'm just, do next is my brows, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Y'all know it's my favorite. This one's actually very dried out. I need to get a new one. Um, this one here is the color Blonde. Now that I've lightened my hair, I've been using this lighter one. Usually I would use the shade Chocolate, but right now I'm using this one. And I am just going to fill in and add a little color just so they look a little bit more full. I'm not going to exaggerate the... Um, the shape of my brows, I'm just going to go with what I naturally have, especially with me going super natural with my makeup. I don't like to overdo my brows. Just adding a little bit of shot or color to make them seem a little bit more full than what my papa gave me. <laughs> I don't really trip about being like exactly the same because obviously my brows are not both exactly the same. I less... Unless I totally like enhance one, but I'm not about that life right now because this is just, like I said, go to every day for right now. Like simplistic, nothing too scandalous or anything. Um, usually I would probably go without eyeshadow. I would just curl my lashes and apply a coat or two of mascara to enhance my lashes. However, I'm going to go the extra step here and I'm just going to apply a little bit of primer. This primer uh, came with my, um, what is it, the Lorac Pro palette and actually I've been liking it a lot. Uh, I love Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion, however I feel that it really dries out my lids. I've been noticing that a lot and I feel like this one keeps the oil in control of my eyelids but it won't dry out my eyelids as much as the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. That one I feel like is super heavy duty. Like if you're going to go to a party, that one would be the one I would uh, reach out for. But for just every day, like just a couple hours at work, um, I reach for this one if I'm going to put a little bit of shadow. And right now, the shadow that I'm going to be using, I'm actually going to go into this. This is the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes Soft and Sexy Eyeshadow Collection. And it's just like purplish colors, but the color that I am going to go for, I'm going to use this Sigma E55 um, eyeshadow shader brush. And I'm just going to take from the classic row, I'm taking Satin Sheets. And I'll just put that on the inner corner of my eye and just run it all over my lid. Nothing extravagant, it's just adding a little bit of shimmer to my eyes. And I'm not even gonna put anything in my crease, like to deepen my crease or anything because I want it to be extremely, extremely simplistic, like almost like I'm not wearing much makeup, you know? Like that's the look I have been just going for and really liking lately. Okay. So there we go. That's it. That's all I do um, as eyeshadow. And then I'll take my eyeshadow or my um, eyelash curler, which I need to actually clean off a little bit because it has a little bit of mascara on it, which I don't even know because I don't curl my lashes with mascara on. But I guess whatever's left over. But I swear I washed my face good. I don't know why there would be mascara left over on my lashes to get out of my curler. For my uh, mascara, I use the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. I really, really like this mascara. Um, and I just put this on my upper lashes. And I go as close as possible to the roots of my lashes. Just to make them look a little full because I'm not putting on any eyeliner or anything. So then for my bottom lashes, uh, I've been using this one here. This is by Clinique. And this is the bottom lash, mas Ooh, bottom lash mascara. Almost poked my eye out. And it has a tiny, tiny, tiny little wand. And I just put that on my lower lashes. 
and it does not transfer it does not flake nothing it stays in place and I love it especially because when I wear contacts sometimes my eyes will water and I need a mascara that will hold its ground on my lashes and not like go all over the place and be like a little wuss mm-hmm there we go and sometimes I'll go in a second time depending on whether one side looks a little thicker than the other which this one looked a little cooler so we gotta go back on this one and add some more to make them a little thicker and I think that is sufficient enough so that's all I'll do to my eyes hold on I need to reposition myself Oy, I can't feel my legs oh I'm sitting on the floor you guys I'm not sitting on a chair so I'm like sitting on my legs and I'm not a young kid anymore that's really light to like sit on your legs for a long time without them going to sleep. <laughs> Putting all my body weight on them. Anyways, okay, so that is all I do to my face. I just put this on. This is it. I'll put on either a lip balm, depending on how, if I'm drinking coffee, like in one of my, my mugs I take to work or something. And I don't want to like leave the, the lipstick ring on the coffee mug because I think that's not cute. Um, but yeah, so I'll just either put on some lip balm or I'll wait until I'm done drinking my coffee at work and then I'll go in with a lipstick. I love a Ferris Nude. This is the one I'm going to be using. I'll just put it on for the sake of this video, even though I'm still drinking my coffee, but for you guys, I'll put it on. This one here is the Gerard Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Serenity, which is the collaboration with Manny MUA, whom y'all know I love. So I'm going to put this one on and that is pretty much all I do. Alright, so this is it. This is the look that I, this is my go-to look for work right now. It's very simplistic, very quick. Um, you can do it. <laughs> you know, just a little bit of shimmer, mascara. My contacts bring some color into my eyes, which I love wearing my contacts. I don't think I mentioned the shade of these contacts. These are by Desio and they are the Desert Dream. I believe that's what they are. It's the lightest green shade on their website. Um, and I just love it. This is what I've been wearing to work and yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Don't forget that you can follow Exquisite Glow Moi on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. That all is at Exquisite Glow. Um, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and welcome to the Exquisite family. And for all of you who have been with me for a while now, what's up? Oh, geez. So, yeah, that is it today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so much. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye, guys. Mwah.